Hey there, this is Larry Beecham, and today I want to demonstrate one of my favorite pieces of software. I found this little uh, gem, I don't know, maybe a year ago, and it was after I spent a lot of money and a lot of time trying to find uh, a solution for text message marketing. You know, when I figured out that my message could get to the in individual much faster through a text message than it could through email, you know, what could I, you know, I have to have text message marketing. But the problem with text message marketing, generally speaking, is that it's expensive. And if you're just getting started, it could be cost prohibitive for you to be able to even get in the game. You know, but to be able to have someone within an instant, you know, get their message or get your message into their hands, the moment they hear that little beep on their cell phone or the vibrate of their cell phone and they look at your message, it's invaluable. I mean, the competition for getting someone's attention is fierce when it comes to email marketing, but when it's a text message, there is no competition, and the response rate is through the roof. I mean, I've heard estimates of 80 to 90 percent response rate on text message marketing. So that being said, I just want to show you my solution. Uh, first off, there is no monthly fee for this. This is a software that's de on your desktop, as you can see, it's on my computer. So I buy it, you buy it one time. There's no monthly expenses. There's no back-end issues. It runs right off of your computer. The second thing that's cool about it is that it uses your cell phone. This is it's interesting. It uses your cell phone as a way to facilitate the delivery of your message. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, the most important thing and the most powerful, unique benefit to this software that I love is that I can customize my messages. In other words, just like with email marketing, you know how you can insert someone's name in the message. Well, everybody's used to that, and they're so uh, you know it's no big magic to it. They know it's a software doing it. Not true when it comes to text messaging, though. If you insert your text, uh, their name into a text message, they assume that you're uh, sending a message to them and them only. But that's not the case, as you'll see here in a moment. But the personalization power of this software is just unbelievable. So let's just jump into this. So here's the interface of the actual software. So once you download it and install it, you just basically plug it up to you know USB cable, just like charging your phone. And the way it works is the software uses the text messaging service of your cell phone provider. And I don't know anybody that doesn't have unlimited text messaging, so this is why it's such a cool way to go about using text messaging. Okay? Now, you may get good, uh, well, you may get sophisticated enough to want to have a dedicated cell phone for this, but just starting off, just use your cell phone. You're paying for it, you're paying for text messaging, unlimited. So that's the benefit. So let's walk through this thing step by step. First off, you got the enter recipient number window here. This is if you want to type in an individual phone number. All right, I got some numbers in here. Let me clear these out of here. All right, so if you have an individual phone number that you want to input here, that's where you will put the phone number. I'm going to put my phone number in here. And that way you can actually see the text message. All right, so I simply click add. And so now it's down here and it's added it to the software. Now, to send a message, I'll just simply send them, type in the message here. Okay, so I just I, I put together what will be considered a personal message. All right, it just says, "Hey, just wanted to let you know about skating tonight. It's at seven. You coming?" Okay, so let's say that that's my message. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this message to the listed items. This button here, click on that. Then it gives you these three different options. You can apply the message to all the list items, apply a message to only selected list items, or apply the message to only one in a blank list items. So anyway, I'll just hit OK or hit Yes. Then it's saying that the action uh, will copy the message of the composer box to all the numbers in the list. Is that what I want to do? Yes. I only have one number. So as you can see, it has now added this typewritten message to my phone number. Now, all I have to do at this point is come down here and hit send. Okay? So let's do that. Hit send. And uh, now as you can see, it's working. So here in a moment, you're going to hear my cell phone chime that I got a text message, and I'm going to show you the text message so you know it's the exact same one that we just got. Okay, there was my cell phone just chimed, and uh, okay, let's see here. There's the beginning of the text. Let me get it in here. The beginning of the text message. So I'm going to open it up so you can actually see the full message. 
Okay, let's get this lined up in the camera right. Okay, uh, as you can see, there it is. Hey, just wanted to let you know about skating tonight. It's at 7. You coming? See, that's exactly what I sent. All right? So as you can see, it was successfully sent. Let's go ahead and go a little a one step further. Let's clear everything out of here. Now, let's say that you want to personalize this message. Now, keep in mind, you can text message an unlimited number of people. It can be two, it can be 200, it can be 2,000, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's assume that we are going to send out a message and include my name in it, all right? Now, I happen to have a file already that is set up for this, all right? So before I go into that, I guess I'll show you this right here. It says load contacts from file. So let's say you have a big list of phone numbers and you don't have names and you just want to send a blanket text message to everybody. Well, you just click on that right there and then you find your file wherever it might be. Okay, and then you now can click on it here and I'll just click on the phone number because that's the only thing it's going to add. I'll talk about this other stuff in a second. You hit OK and boom if you look in here into the the window it has the phone number and it has this message right here that I originally put into the composer window so all 40 of these people will get this text message if I were to hit send on it okay just instantaneously like that but we're not gonna do that but I wanted to show you how that would work so let's clear that out now let's also now, uh, let's move over to the send a unique and personalized SMS to every contact using Excel now, that same file I just pulled up, let's talk about how we can use this in a personalized message uh, way. So click on this button. So now it brings up this dynamic message import wizard window. Okay, you got two options. You can import numbers in their respective messages, okay, which means that if you already have a message typed up, believe it or not, you can go ahead and upload not only the number and the message if it's individualized. Or you can do it the way I'm getting ready to show it to you, where you can upload the phone number and multiple fields that have already been pre-filled in your Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to click this second one and I'm going to hit continue. So now I'm going to go find that file on my computer. So now we're going to upload it, hit next, and now it's loading it in. Alright, so now you see at the top here, I got a phone number, I have a first and last name, and then I have three additional fields that could be customized. All right. So here's how this works. Now remember, the file I have has 40 different people on the file. So let's do the little roller skating message I did before. Okay. And that message was, uh, hey, just wanted to let you, can, you know about skating tonight. It's at seven you coming okay now that was what it was before but let's do the personalization feature so I'm gonna put a little space in here and as you can see at the top here I have columns and I have what the column represents so column one will be the phone number column two is the, the first name column three is the last name so I'm gonna highlight column two and as you can see it, it inserted it right into my message so it says hey and then column dash two blah 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 now I'm gonna click finish and watch this look at this it took every last phone number and name that I had with the first name and then now added their first name to the message I'm gonna delete this because I don't need it down here and so now look I got 40 people in a file and every last one of those people are gonna get a personalized message from me so they feel like they, they're the only ones that are getting the message but in fact 40 different people are gonna get the message so it says, hey, Todd, hey, Deanna, hey, Ellis, hey, whoever. And so now I'm ready to send out a broadcast message, although it feels like an individual message to the recipient. Okay? Now, I can go in here and individually delete any one of these. I'm highlighting, I'm deleting, highlight and delete. Okay? So what I want to do is just keep my own phone number in this list, since that's what we're doing for the demo, just to kind of give you an idea. Let me delete all these ones out except for mine. Oh, and the other thing is, and it's popping up here, you can go into each one of these individual messages and do further custom editing. You want to add something more custom to some particular person, you know, you can do that. Like, you know, don't forget to tell Felicia to bring her socks for this particular person if that were relevant. Okay? 
So let's keep deleting these until we get down to just my phone number. Then I'm going to send another text message to myself, and you're going to see that it was custom. Okay, so there I am. So let's delete the ones beneath me. All right, so we're now just down to me. You see my name is already in there because, again, the customized feature of it. So we're ready to send this message, all right? So what we want to do now is just come down here to hit send. And guess what? It's about to send me a text message again. And we're going to hear a chime here in a minute. There's the chime. Okay. And let's go ahead and open it up. And let's so get it to clear up there. All right. You see it right there? Hey, Larry, just wanted to let you know about skating tonight. It says seven. You coming? <laughs> you see that? See how cool that is? All right. Now, a couple of other things. Let's say that you have a gigantic list that you've accumulated from somewhere, and maybe there's multiple that the same phone number appears multiple times on the list for some reason. Or maybe you compile multiple lists from, let's say, your um, email provider software. You know, sometimes with like Aweber, we are uh, have multiple lists, and sometimes people opt into multiple lists with their phone number, so your the phone number will appear multiple times. So you don't want to send the same test message three times to somebody. So right here in this window, it says skip duplicate numbers. You can check that box, and it will automatically filter out any duplicate numbers that are in there, eliminating the possibility of a duplicate message. Okay? That's pretty cool stuff. All right, let's move over here to the right side of the software. And as you can see, the first thing it says, select mobile device. And I did all of this before I turned on the camera, but it's identifying my cell phone. So when you first turn it on, it's going to find your cell phone through this through my USB cable and, and make sure it's communicating properly. And then uh, it's all set to go. Underneath it here, you have two options in terms of how to execute your messages. You can do a single shot execution. Now this is, once you actually queue it up, let's say you got 200 text messages you want to send out. Well, once you queue it up with this feature and you hit send and you see the message saying that little green bar blinking, that means it's already queued up to send. You can disconnect the cable and go about your business. You do not have to stay tied to the computer. This other feature here, which says one on one contact process, is that if you want to delay the messages, maybe you have a, a very big text message campaign that you want to send out and you don't want to overload your cell phone provider you know with that and maybe raise a red flag or shut down your account who knows I've never had it done but the idea here is that you can put in a delay and you would need to have your phone remain tied to it but you can actually delay the message to go out at whatever frequency speed you would like right here with that okay I usually use a single shot never had a problem next up is exclusion rules alright so let's use the exclusion rules wizard <laughs> and all that really means is if you have multiple lists that you will compile, you may have, like, let's say you own a home-based business and you have your leaders list, you have your reps under 30 days list, you have your reps who have hit a certain rank in the business, it could be like your top dogs or whatever you want to call it, you create these individual lists. Then of course you have your main list. Well, you can actually create lists and be able to add those lists to your actual test message. Okay, so right here I got in here demo list one. If I want to add a new list, I hit Add New. I name it. And now I can come in here and rename it if I didn't like my name or whatever. And then I have to go and then find the file of phone numbers that I want to load. So I hit Load. Oops, I'm sorry. I hit this other one. Okay. And we're going to just use the same file just for the sake of the demo. All right. And then I hit Load. And it's asking me what sheet I want. So I'll just say all columns, OK. And so now I have this brand new uh, exclusion list created. OK. And I can go in here and update numbers individually. I can remove numbers. I can export numbers, whatever I want to do. And I can even add an additional number manually if I you know, need to. I'm going to hit save. I am sure. So now I've got two different lists. Okay, oops, sorry about that. Let's go back here. So I got these two different lists. So I can highlight the list. Didn't mean to open it. Highlight the list and then hit add. 
okay and now this particular list will be the only one that receives the message okay if I got all in the list I want to do that way I don't have to go in and individually upload these files one by one I do it in here and it's all done I just come through and click them and I can just or I can hit click add all and it'll add them all for me just boom one one shot okay and then I'll just hit save and so now I'm ready to send out a message to everybody hit close and it's all ready to rock and roll okay now you can also save your sent items if you want to save your sent items it will save them in the file and then you can save your sent messages as templates now this is cool if you have templates alright so let's say you have a, a message that you want to send out on a regular basis like I have a, a wake-up call I do three days a week and if I want to remind people about the wake-up call then I can just create a template message and whenever I want to send that message out I'll just do it Okay, hit add. So this is now my new template message. And I hit use template. It says please select a template to continue. So I highlight it. Hit use template. And it says now the selected template message has been moved to the message composer. Okay, so let's hit OK. Then we'll hit close. And as you can see, here it is down here in the message composer. Hey, just wanted to remind you about the wake up call today. Okay. All right, so there you have that. So you can load up as many templates in there as you want. So that is everything about the software. So here's your file down here for your sent items. You know, it automatically will load a file for you on your sent items. And it's really that simple. So I love this software. So what do you use this software for? Several things. Um, first of all, announcements. Announcing maybe a webinar, a conference call a new product that came out uh, somewhere you'll be for people to meet you who name who, who knows um, you can use it to send out messages you know to direct links to you know videos or training or opportunities or whatever it is that you want to do so you're using text message marketing to deliver your message right to the end uh, consumer or individual and uh, this is where you can do it for, for, for basically free once you buy the software you're using your cell phone it's a done deal so for one fixed price, you can't be, you know, with a bat. A couple of things I will tell you. Uh, oh, thought I got a text message. See how that works? <laughs> how people are with their phones? You probably do the same thing. Um, so you want to, number one, just some basic rules. You want to make sure that the, 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 the numbers you send a message to are the numbers that you collected yourself. You don't want to violate any laws. And you want to make sure that if you uh, send a message out, you give them an opportunity to opt out if, they, if you want them to opt out from getting the list but let me tell you something because of the personalization and because the people I send it to know me you know it seems like I just sent it to you from, from my cell phone to just them so it is very minimal uh, requests it, you know to get you know uh, to, to, to remove somebody from your list so that being said that's the demo I'm excited to uh, have shown this to you so if you want to grab a copy of this uh, you know, just let me know. It's probably already on this page somewhere where this video is, you know, how you can gain access to that. So uh, let's grab a copy of this thing and let's let's crush our text message marketing campaigns. All right. So thanks for listening and uh, we'll see you soon.